Happy Friday. Happy Friday, Matthew Smith. How's it going? Dude, it's going well. It's uh, sun shining here in Greenville, South Carolina. Well, hey, I wanted to uh, show you an email today from this group, Elysium. I, I can't remember how I got onto them originally, but I've been really impressed with their dedication to you know maintaining brand in their emails, which I think takes a lot of work and has there's a certain attitude or like a commitment to email that comes with that. So... Uh, let's check them out. Let's say hey to Tang, <laughs> my, my neighborly cat. Um, hang tight, I'm gonna put her. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, so I'm uh, I'm pretty impressed with the way that these uh, folks have been working, and uh, I thought I'd like to take you through it today. So you know, this is their newsletter. There's some more emails on on the uh, really good email site. By the way, check out our beta beta.reallygoodemails.com. And um, yeah, I, I want to walk you through it. So this one's from May 19th. They like present the the sense of its timeliness right up front. Do you like that, or would you rather them having like lead? with a title. I was kind of just thinking about that. I um, I think the date probably is less serving to the client than doing something more like a title. But I think that there are going to be different audiences that receive that differently, right? So yeah. you kind of test with your audience. But to me, this section of, the, of an email should always be like, what's below? you know, what's happening? What is this about? And it's, it's not doing that. Now that said, we're not showing the subject or pre header in this video. So it could be that, that that is referenced in a way that is meaningful, but yeah, I think a title would be helpful. But overall, I like the layout a lot. I like how they like really lead with imagery that feels sciency and interesting. And the typography is outstanding. Everything feels really clean and simple, but very elegant, which I think is part of their, their brand. So as we start moving down the email, they start with this centered copy, really simple, you know, language and focus. And then they switch over to left aligned and they have enough space between everything to do that and I think that's working fairly well it is a little challenging sometimes to go from like this centered image to a left aligned copy so just as you create emails just be aware that there can be like some difficulty with the brain when when trying to read that it works better on mobile when the the column feels more tied in but when on desktop it's the centered thing and then it draws you heavily Heavily left, which makes you feel sort of imbalanced. But I think, you know, more or less it's working here. They do this thing too of like having this vertical uh, line yeah, at I the really center like of yeah. the email. And that's a nice way of kind of making it feel like a timeline through your your email. Great illustration, really interesting like textures and draws you in. And then, you know, being able to read enough of an article and then say, yeah, I would like to get more. So if that last article is a featured article, it's kind of nice here that they draw you into two other articles at a level that is more like thumbnails, right? Here in the mobile version, the text is slightly different but the imagery is still pretty large which shows you the you know the opportunity to to dive in but i think they've done that really well i like their ctas here with the read the story to get more into it and i can go dig into science 101 too if i want to like read more about what that is and then here they're doing fantastic stuff of like showing a curation of 10 books i think that's a great way for them to have content right it's not their content but it's things that they're curating and they think that are interesting and will, you know, be interesting to their audience. And then finally, they get into their products, right? So they actually lead with intelligence and things that might be interesting and things that are connecting and then get into their products. And I think that's a pretty fascinating way to work. All of this is live text. I'm super impressed with that and really encouraged by that. And then they get to this quote of the month, which I, again, like this is a fantastic way to get content that doesn't have to be 
a quote from your CEO. In this case, it is. But it could be from, you know, anywhere. Somebody's going to hire this email to get good information, to grow in their science understanding, and to get access to, you know, more of their product if they're an Elysium customer or a would-be Elysium customer. So I think I think that's pretty interesting. And then, man, just a super simple footer ending with the stuff that matters, giving me access to those social accounts. A little interesting that they double up here. Seems like they're sort of repeating a component. If it were me, I might make this component more like a different sort of feel and put it higher in the page so that they're not right next to each other. If you truly are looking for people to somehow get into that content. But yeah, I mean, they've just done such a great job with typography. And that's really, to me, the center of design. And I think they've done a great job with all that here. So a little bit longer form newsletter, which I think in this case works. But but uh, I'm curious to see what you think, man. Yeah, that line down the entire email, I think, really elevates this template. Outside of the typography, I think it is a pretty, like, basic sort of newsletter idea. And this one, actually, compared to, like, some of the other emails we might have looked at uh, previous weeks, is seems very made for mobile, to be consumed on mobile. I almost like that experience a lot better. Mm-hmm. For some reason, on the desktop, I actually feel like it has lower contrast. And it's a little harder for me to read, actually. You know, I think that one of the big things is the text weight. Yeah. So in this case, this is probably a light or maybe a book weight. And generally speaking, that can be very difficult to read until it gets to very large sizes. It creates a little like buzzing in the eyes when you are reading it. Mm-hmm. And it's actually a little larger on mobile. Now, this actual mobile phone currently is larger than my real phone. So probably it's relatively the same. You know, if it were me, it's like one of those weird brand things where sometimes, you know, you have to say, you know what, like, I love that thin, lightweight font, but man, is it, you know, am I able to like do something about it that makes it more readable or can I go ahead and switch to that book weight or that regular weight that is a little easier to read even in this section though like I really like how they break up those paragraphs like if, if it was all one I would definitely not want to like read the entire thing um, but adding those little spacers between and kind of making them sort of be content blocks definitely helps with consumption yeah all this stuff I think looks pretty great if anything there's just some progressive enhancements with maybe some hover effects over some of these just to make sure that they look like they're clickable. I'm on the read the story. I mean, they are like a little lighter. So maybe making um, something like a rollover effect might help people know that it's clickable or even like on the images, some sort of opacity hover effect. For sure. Actually, I do really like this upsell. When I used to work in the prospect email marketing world, people always wanted sort of these types of newsletters and then having this upsell mod, people would see a lot of conversions on this because you're kind of reading through this content. It's useful for you. Yep. And then you see this product and of course you want to like learn more about it. Like, I could see more newsletters trying to sort of do this, keep things on brand with you know, interviewing people, showing related articles, but then having that upsell module in it. It feels like a nice way to kind of go through your email because like this isn't first, but you know they're they're leading in with some content first and then showing you a product. Right. Finishing it off with that quote is also a nice way to not like feel like oh we're just trying to sell you something. Yeah, I think these are good content modules for any business really, right? Like an e-commerce business that's trying to get its customers attention and serve their customers like the reason I hire this email with my time is that I actually get you know some good insights and information out of it right like I can learn a little bit about Carrie Sims and what she knows about anti-aging if that's my thing these articles they cover a good swath of content and help me kind of understand what's happening in aging then I have curated space and then the product like I think this is a, a healthy model for trying out growing your audience and uh, serving your audience. So yeah, good email all around. It's a few little things that maybe uh, could be improved, but man, isn't that all of us? So (laughs) anyway, good job, Elysium. Thanks for uh, getting in touch and sending this our way. Have a fantastic weekend. See you email geeks out there. Thanks for showing up. Have a good one. See ya. If you have any feedback on the series, please leave a comment down below. Hit subscribe to keep up with future episodes. Thank you for giving a listen and letting our sponsors know you love really good emails.